Hey guys, welcome back. So this is video nine, how to set up share folders and permissions in Windows Server 2022, of course. So what we're gonna be doing in this video, we're gonna be creating some shares. We're gonna be setting up the permissions for those shares, NTFS permissions and some share permissions. We're gonna create a couple folders for those shares. And then we're gonna make the HR folder uh, make the HR folder accessible on the Windows 11 machine with a HR user, right? We're going to test the user access to make sure everything is good. And then we're also going to put some twist on it as well. So we can add a few other shares different ways and put different people and make sure they don't have access. Okay, so let's get into it. So let's jump over to our DC. So this is my DC at the moment. So let's go ahead and open up file manager or server manager. So you see file and storage services. Let's click on that. We have shares down here. We don't have any shares at the moment, but we're going to have that shortly. So let's go ahead and create a new share. We have multiple options here. We're going to do the quick one for now. Let's go ahead and click on next. Right. And then we're going to specify a path, a custom path. So we're going to go ahead and browse out. It's going to be right on my C drive. Okay. I want to Create a new folder, and we're going to make this HR folder. That should be fine with me. Select this folder, and then we're going to go ahead and hit next. Okay, so this is a good share name for me. This is going to be the UNC path, which is the remote path of the share. That looks all good to me. Go ahead and hit next. And we're going to go ahead and enable access base enumeration for this. Okay, let's go ahead and click on next. So here we're going to do some customization. This is what I was saying about the permissions. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on customize permissions. We don't want, for an example, all the users to have any kind of access, right? So first we're going to go ahead and disable inheritance and we're going to convert inherit permissions into explicit permissions on this object. Okay. So I want to get rid of users and want to get rid of this users. And now we have these three. Remember, this is only for the HR group, right? So let's go ahead and add. We're going to select a, a principal and we're going to go ahead and put HR. Whoops, not HT, HR. Okay, so the HR team is the only one that should be able to have access to this. Okay, and we, if we see here, it says uh, show advanced permissions. We want to be able to create files and create folders. Okay, so also, this is the way I do it, and you guys can test out the way you want to do it, and you can check out different options, but it applies to this folder only. So the folder that we want to access or apply this to is just the HR hyphen folder. Okay, so let's hit OK here. We're all good. This looks good to me. Go ahead and hit apply. OK, next, create. Okay. So now we have this set up. Let's jump onto my Windows 11 machine. But before we do that, we can see, let's go ahead and open up users and computers or Active Directory users and computers. Once this opens, okay. So we messed around with the HR, right? So we have Val, Tim, and Beth. So we should have all these three users a part of this group. And this group is a part of that share. So if we just go on to File Explorer, C Drive, HR folder, right click, go to permissions, sharing, and security, and we see this team is here. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and X out of there. Let's jump onto our Windows 11 machine, our client machine, and we are logged in as we are logged in as Val. So who am I? Let's go ahead and see. We're Val. Okay, and she's a part of the HR group. So she should be good. So let's go ahead and just open up File Explorer and browse out to the file server. In this case, the domain controller. So we have HR folder here. Let's go ahead and double click on it. We should be good. And if we create a let's create a new folder and just put Val's docs. Okay, we should be good. And if we Right click on here, go to properties, 
but our security, we see val. That's it, right? So that's good, right? So now let's go ahead and test some more things. Now let's go back and create shares a different way. We're gonna try multiple ways I can show you guys how to do that, okay? So the second way we can do that, we did it in Server Manager, right? So let's go ahead and minimize this. The next way you can do it is go right to the, the path that you want to or the folder that you want to add this folder. And we can just go for an example and add, what am I doing? Add um, folder. And I want to put, for an example, path dash folder. Okay, so we can right click on this folder, go to permissions, go to share. We want to event share, share this folder. This is Pat's folder, right? So we can go to permissions, read everyone. That's perfectly fine, All right? Let's go ahead and hit okay, boom. So that, that's Pat's folder, okay? So we can go to security, we can see users, but this, no one should be able to make some modifications. So let's go check that. Let's go to uh, batch our windows. Let's refresh this. We should see it now. Okay, that's folder. Go ahead and try to create a new file. Uh, uh, uh. She's not going to be able to, right? So that's good. So let's go to the third method on how to create a share on a server, okay? Let's just go ahead and do it the last way. So we can right click on computer. I mean, right click on start and go to computer management. And let's make this bigger. And then we can see shared folders, shares, and then we can create a new share. And we can do that same thing. Let's go to C drive, new folder, and we'll do this as tools. Okay, and next, that should be good. That's, that's fine with me. Customize the permissions. And we have security and permissions, uh, share permissions, that should be fine. So in here, we can go ahead and hit advance. Same kind of thing, we can go ahead and disable inheritance. And we can remove this, we can move this. So on here, we're gonna go ahead and add just val. We can add val, okay? Go ahead and hit val, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, show advanced features, add files and folders. Okay, apply, okay, okay, finito, finish. Okay, so now if we refresh this, we should see that. Okay, now let's go back onto our Windows 11 machine and check out that. Okay, so let's go back to here and we should see tools. Okay, so in tools, we should be able to, you should be able to access. Oh, you know why? Let's fix that. Let's go, that's good that that happened. So on tools, you know, we can do it this way too. Let's go ahead and go here. Let's refresh this. We can see all of our shares. Go ahead and go to properties, permissions, customize permissions. So the sharing permissions is only read. So we're gonna go ahead, that's fine for read, but we're gonna go ahead and add val, right? Because I did forget step, which is fine. We can allow her full access, allow, perfect. That's totally cool with me. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now let's go back and see if we fix that problem. See if now she can create a file. Now she's able to create a file on tools. I love these tools. Thank you. I can do a smiley face. <laughs> All right, so this is pretty much how you configure NTFS permissions, share permissions in Windows Server 2022. So hopefully this has been informative for you guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them in the description below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos because I'm really enjoying making these videos. I do have a whole other playlist in Windows Server 2019. I'm just trying to do an updated one for 2022 and change it up a bit, just come up with different ideas. And um, yeah, just let's keep learning. And I thank you so much for the support and love. And until next time, have a great day, folks.